So I've always been a, a big fan of uh, JJ's and uh, and Bad Robot. They they always manage to do films that um, that are really unexpected and and um, and so I think Overlord is definitely in their wheelhouse. At first, when I met JJ, I was really really nervous, and um, you know I'd seen all his films. I respected what he what he was doing as a filmmaker, and um, and. But in the first few min minutes, he really sort of put me at ease, and and it was kind of like like that for the whole filmmaking experience. He always made me feel like I knew what I was doing, and it's really important in this business to have someone that, um, when you're starting out, that can sort of um, be there and and sort of um, yeah be a, a a guide through all this craziness. Ford is your sort of he's he's hard as nails, uh, seen it all before. Um, experienced uh, soldier um, who's been put together with these unexperienced soldiers um, and you know he wants to accomplish the mission in a certain way and uh, you know because he knows that if he doesn't com complete the mission a lot of a lot of guys are gonna die and so he's thinking about the greater mission and and he has a, a lot of responsibility in, in that. Whilst he's kind of like this hard as nails guy, he 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 does have this vulnerability, which I which I think White Russell brought to to the character. Boyce wants to wants to save the world, but he also wants to save the people that are close to him. And you know, there's this young French. Um, family that they that they hide out in and they've put them at great risk and um he wants to save them as much as he wants to save the the uh the um the world and then there's this beautiful transformation where he where he he sort of becomes this man and 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 he becomes the hero and it's so uh it's so great to see we wanted him to knock politely on the door and sort of ask politely if he could come in and, and that's how he played him. He was kind of sweet and gentle and but very, very manipulative at the same time. And when people aren't playing the role of uh, that he wanted, he would quickly turn on them. And in and we sort of see that in the in the movie. He he turns um, like that. This is the first film where I uh, got to build sets and um, shoot on stages and uh, on a back lot. Before that, I only ever um, shot on location. And so 70% uh, of this was shot on stage at Leaves and Studios in London. And um, so we had to create everything from scratch. Um, and some of it was uh, completely... Um, fantastical or like you know com completely made up and other stuff had to be you know had to have documentary attention to detail